This is it. Yep. This is it. Awkward ending last time aside, we are going onward this to new territory. This is it. Ooh. This is what I ever, and for me, there's a lot of... Did you see how excited we sounded there for a minute? Yeah, it was great. And I was about to say, for me, this is like, and now we'll never know. I don't remember what I was talking it's, about. It was probably gibberish. I was probably on drugs. Who knows? So instead, in case somebody's confused who's listening now, we lost the audio from the rest of this game. Yeah. So we have, this is it, this is it, 20 times. Beyond that, it's all gone. I thought about playing without any audio at all. I mean, the game audio is still here for some reason. Yeah. But that would be boring. So we're coming back in the studio to re-record. It's going to be play-by-play -play of Metroid's final hours. And I don't even remember what happened in this all that well, to be honest. Uh, so we, we fought Ridley. I think that's coming up in this part. This is going to be a disaster to watch because I suck in this game. <laughs> This is going to be the worst thing. No, I believe in you. See, now I get to watch and see how bumbling I am the whole time. You can do commentary on your play instead of being distracted by playing. Yeah, they see, but being distracted is just the excuse I use for sucking at this game. Okay. Oh, I was distracted. Oh, you know what's going to be wonderful is when I fight those three, like, <laughs> elite guys. Yeah, we'll have to talk during that a lot. Yeah, that took like 45 minutes. It's coming up. So, anyways, so what's the recap? Right now, I got a bunch of power-ups. Yep. And I think I'm done. Now, we're forging ahead now. Power bomb, yay. I mean, you have almost all the power-ups. There's a couple more on the way. You have an energy tank to get after you beat Ridley here. Right. We got all that stuff, though. But I'm pretty much just forging ahead to fight Ridley. This was... We'd had all those, like, what, four episodes of prep? Yeah. And this was the culmination. Which was probably just brilliant to watch. For Which everybody. is why I was super excited about losing it, because we had all that buildup, and then it was like, oh, there goes our audio. Yeah, like, gotta be honest, if there was audio to lose, it should have been all the boring stuff. Hell, we probably could have even just cut that out. Yeah, They had, true. like, a, a, a subtitles at the bottom, and like, hey, I went and got a bunch of stuff. <laughs> We saved you. Now we're here. Like everything in Brinstar, we went there. Yeah. Look, I'm super powered now. I'm a, I'm a super Saiyan Seamus. So, here we go. <laughs> ah, this is the room. Oh, yeah. Almost. No, this is it. This is it. This is it. So, this. It's weird that we fired a charge shot at the very beginning there and it hit him. It looked like it hit him. I should have stuck with that. He made the noise. Maybe if you haven't engaged them, they're not invincible. I don't know. That was weird. Oh, God. There's only two of them. I thought there was three. <laughs> that makes this even worse. Yeah, and I was trying to get you to, like, keep one on the side here so you don't have to fight them both. And that yeah, didn't... and I was like, no, Chris, who cares? <laughs> we got it fine. So eventually they do come together. You spend the first minute of this fight just kind of watching them. Yeah. And not even trying to shoot them. No, I'm just screw attacking. Honestly, I, I keep hoping the screw attack is going to do something. <laughs> and it just doesn't. And they ninja kicking me. Not good form. I'm I mean, bad. This is just a futile fight right now. Oh, it's the worst thing. I, I almost die in this fight. You're invincible and they're invincible. This is just dancing. Yeah. This is like two heavyweight champions going at it. Oh, God. First blood. Yeah. Well, no, I guess technically that shot you fired yeah, was first blood. I got, I got that sucker. <laughs> now you've brought them together, so you have no openings. And I think at this point, I'm actually trying. I, I finally like, okay, I guess Chris might know what he's talking about. I am trying to get them. Oh, <laughs> they punch your super yeah. missile into the ceiling. <laughs> I'm trying to get them together or uh, separated again, and it's just not. At that point, once they come together, it's tough. It's doable, and I think you actually pull it off eventually here. But yeah, you know what makes me mad about this room? TVs everywhere. None of them are on. Yeah. What is the point? Where are my episodes of Three's Company? Yeah. Uh, what do aliens watch? You could be the guy know. from that show, and they could be the two girls. It's just, it's perfect, and it's so meta. How hard would it have been to program Three's Company into that TV <laughs> in the background? I don't think that hard. Look at the fireways in the background. It's so cool. You know what? Long story is probably not worth it, but I modded the hell out of Left 4 Dead 2 because I got it for a computer. Uh-huh. And one of the things I put in was, like, the Macho Man zombies and stuff like that that are hilarious. There was this random thing where you could put an image on all the broken TVs. 
Oh, that's so a- it was just a gif of Homer in that one episode of The Simpsons where they have all the little Santa's little helpers. They keeps trying to eat chips, and the dogs fly in and eat them. <laughs> and it's just on loop. So every time you find a TV in Left 4 Dead 2 where you're surrounded by zombies, there's Homer on the screen fighting these puppies. Now, here's my question. If you break the TV, does the image go away? I didn't try because I thought it was too cool. Oh, right. Yeah, you don't want to mess that up. So I left it alone. So they could have done that here easily. Yeah. That's what I, I mean. I think, what's the game? 1990? Uh, 91? 91? Okay. So this was around for a couple of years by then. I don't think that episode had aired yet, but... Yeah. Three's Company had been in existence for like 20 years, though. Yeah, that was off the air. Yeah. So that's... So that's what I'm thinking about as I'm doing this <laughs> feudal battle, which is turning out to be way longer than I even remember. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. I actually wasn't even sure we could get to Ridley in this part. Now, fans, stay with us, because once I figure it out, it actually goes pretty quickly after that. Yeah, no, it, it accelerates. I just I have to get that first attack to work. And uh, it involves me taking quite a bit more damage, which I just took there, too. i got to admit, at a certain point here, before you actually started to hit again, I thought you were going to die in this room. Yeah. So did I. You're already down to half health. And you haven't done anything. And they keep hitting me with wrenches. I know. They just keep dancing like a boxer. Throwing stuff. You can dodge a wrench. You can dodge a ball. But I can't dodge the wrench. He's hitting me in the head. And that's beautiful, too. When it hits right off of them like a shield. I don't remember. Did you stick with these or did you go back to charge beam? Um... No, I did the missiles. The problem is the beginning I spent 30 minutes just trying to hit them with the screw attack. Uh... And that was not a good... Oh, see, there we go. There it is. Oh, starting to figure it out. <laughs> it's not brain surgery They're here. They're training you. But, I, but I'm... Oh, that see, was that, cool. You were kind of unlucky on a couple of those. There was one just like that before. Yeah. You fired just too early and just too late. Yep. That yep. was your fault. That was... He was He was not invincible. For, oh, I got him. <laughs> you traded with him. Yep. So now there's a, one over here. I don't know what he's been doing the whole fight. <laughs> He just watched his brother die. I also know now, in retrospect, that we avoided making a terrible mistake after you won this fight. Yeah, and we'll get to that when it happens, but it almost involved me killing myself. And I guess it's now. Now we consider it, because you're like, okay, I have 600 health. Right. We know Ridley's coming up. So me doing this right now, we're contemplating, should I go back and save, or should I just forge ahead? Yep. And Chris is like, nah, man, you want to go ahead, or you're going to have to do this fight again. Yep. But you're not going to be able to heal. Now, it turns out we could have done both. If we had gone through this door and then gone back, this becomes a blue door. But until you do, it's a gray door that has to be unlocked by beating those guys. Uh, and so but we, we had wouldn't gone have back, done that. Yeah. You were standing right next to the door at one point. If we had gone through that and come back in, they would have been back again. <laughs> Look at this indecisiveness. <laughs> what, what do I do? Sean really wants to save. Right, but I went ahead. I'm kind of a saving whore. Yes. So, and then this room with the Meta Knights made me feel better. So, okay. Yeah, there's a farming spot right yeah. there. You can see it. Yeah, I think I'm going to be okay now. Unfortunately, it's only one enemy at a time. Yeah. I don't know why you're just firing <laughs> off into space right now. <laughs> I kept thinking more were going to come, but you have to get the get the item first. Yeah. All these idiosyncrasies in Metroid drove, drove me nuts. Farming with Chris and Sean. Yeah, that's... So, okay, I'll admit this has not been the most exciting video so far. <laughs> But it's going to get better because I think Ridley's in this episode. But maybe people can identify. Maybe they struggled in a similar manner. Right. Now, I don't want to make false promises. Is Ridley in this episode? I think so. Okay. I don't remember. Like, I remember like vague ideas about what happened through this right. and kind of the pacing, but I'm not positive. I was kind of drunk. We did a lot that night. And it's been, so what, probably why. four weeks? Yeah. So between between that and the malaise of episodes, it's hard to... So I never noticed a little thing. Like, this is a total face at the top. You have the two eyes and all the teeth. Yeah. I never noticed things like that when I'm playing through because I'm so, like, nervous and I have so much anxiety. It's the motif, man. Yeah, I'm just looking at the lava and I keep thinking it's going to start rising. You know, there's no reason for it to do that now. And this is the super lava, which can hurt you. Yeah. So it's always in the back of my head, like, are they going to do this? When I, cr- when I cross, like, an invisible threshold, the lava is just going to drown me again bad memories man remember that part <laughs> yes this is the worst tech guy's here he's watching he is. he's, he's watching and shaking his head his superior gameplay yeah so we're almost to the farm yeah we're almost doing it look at Matt and I. he should be dead too 
Yeah, this, this, this lava bull. is very particular, you know? Yeah, oh, I could swim just fine. My suit stops some lava, but not the other lava. Right, well, screw you, Meta Knight. I should go kill him. I wish I could communicate with my past self. Because I, I would do that. I think you do. You think so? I feel like you don't leave a whole lot alive when you go through rooms, even if it's painfully underleveled to, compared to you now. Oh, so, yeah, I know. I don't like it. And you have the wave beams. You can totally shoot to the floor. I'm like a king, you know? Like, I don't... Everything's an example. Or people will not fear me. And so that's what this is like. Okay, really? Do, you need that do, energy, do, too? You do, already do, have the bar, do, man. Do, do. God. I'm going to go all the way to 99, I think. Yeah. And then some, probably. Almost there. Well, this has been 45 minutes of nothing. You still need three more super missiles, too. I don't know if I get all this. I probably do. If you get the health first, you might not. But it looks like you're going to get super missiles yeah, first. They're handing out like candy. There's max health. There's nothing. I think I just got into a, a pattern, so... And then this is just... I don't even know anymore. Okay, kill the thing! Yeah! yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you can't leave anything alive. <laughs> And then I'm going to farm here, too, for 45 minutes. Yeah, uh, even though nothing's going to come out. That's See, but they keep coming out, and I'm like, I have to fight the urge eventually. Of, okay, just... You can just freeze one. Just go. Oh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. See, you should have told me that then. <laughs> oh, okay, sure he I did gets some to, Oh, no, he doesn't get to live. I thought maybe I had mercy in it. No. Nope. Clearly you don't. It was not to be. Oh, things just get worse and worse as we go in here. Sean, nearing the end of the game. Getting ready for the final bout with Ridley. And now finally you're like, oh yeah, I can't just go through. Yeah, that's... And we know, uh, we know yeah. what this means. This son of a bitch always. But see, you're invincible. Yeah, but then I'm like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Lose invincibility, try to attack, or just float forever. Charge shots, which have never worked on this and never will. Yeah, I keep forgetting that. I just like my beam so much. Well, plus it's not expendable. Yeah. And I also really like the beam. Uh, that was fuel. I just wasted some of took one damage from that. Good. Screw him. Oh, uh, no. Could that one damage be the difference in this fight? Okay, so now for some exciting gameplay. The slug fest with Ridley. It starts now. I draw first blood. Ridley comes back with a counter attack. No, I'm not going to do this the whole time. I okay, good. I kind of set the stage. I wanted to point out, bit. you fired 16 super missiles. I think two of them have hit. Yeah. Now three or four. Not a whole lot. See, but I, I, I had to get used to his pattern of jackhammer, and and also my hands were sweating really bad at this point. I actually had trouble gripping the controller. It was slight, so it was sliding out of my hands, and also my hand was cramping. That's bad news. But look, he's already starting to change color. He was a little bit. See, I assumed there was going to be no way I could win this fight on my first try. And maybe I don't. Keep stay tuned. You actually kind of take this fight a little quicker than I would. You also take a lot more damage than I would. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I went into this thing, and there's two ways to go about it. Conservative or just balls to the wall and see who could kill the other one first. Which is how most Ridley fights go, to be fair. Yeah. You just go in. Yeah, I just want balls to the wall here. And... Well, this was way back when we kept talking about like a boss where you need to screw attack. I mean, you don't need it against Ridley, but it's actually pretty easy to keep screw attacking at the side and just fire things. Right. Yeah, but you said it didn't hurt him. It doesn't. And, and as soon as you said that, I was like, oh, well, then I'm not going to use it. And I didn't think about the practicality. You'll notice just a second ago, you hit a jump where you went right through him while you were screwed. Yeah, down. yeah, and that's why, yeah, the utility of it is great. I just was So like, when he sits on one side, you hit him with super missiles. And then when he goes to switch, you're just screw attacking and taking damage. Yeah, so that's. If all you have to avoid is his fireballs and maybe that tail dropping down on you, this is an easy fight. Yeah, every once in a while, I get him with a really good string. Like, Five or six missiles, just boom, boom, boom. And then I miss for about 20 minutes. And now you're out of missiles. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did I try a power bomb in this fight? I, I feel like I didn't. I don't think so. I don't remember if those work. It's a colossal waste of time. Yeah, it really is. I mean, uh, I guess with the boost ball, you have a little bit of mobility. Yeah, I didn't even see me connect with that last one. Yeah. And you'll notice you did not have 40 health left for once. I know. Like I, 250. That was pretty good for me. And two res or three, I forget, reserve tanks. Yeah. Uh, at this point, I was pretty much screaming still because had that fight gone on a lot more than that with me with only those missiles. Well, another the, glitch. Whoa. The phase beam. Well, I mean, that's the word of the day with so, our videos. This is the part of the video where I was quizzing you on what this was. 
and I thought it was a jar of eggs. Because this room is this room is empty. I was right. Yeah. And it's like, what are they trying to tell us? Well, they're showing you that he had the baby Metroid, but it's not there. Because he ate it. Right. He either broke it open and ate it, or it escaped. Yeah. I wonder what you're supposed to think at this point. Probably that it was killed, right? And then I found an energy tank. Hooray! Oh, great. Now the game audio is off the video, too. Yeah, spoilers, too. This whole thing is terrible. Yeah, you found the energy tank in the wall. It's really been the worst. And anyone who's still watching, thank you. You are a saint. It's weird to me that they do this room like this. There's no dot in this room. Yeah. So if you don't, like, search everything thoroughly, you could miss this. And you could think the point of the room is just this glass case. Yeah. And be like, oh, that's kind of cool, and then leave. It's still kind of confusing. Even, yeah. Even, like, whether or not you get the energy tank, it's like, okay, I was supposed to maybe get the baby Metroid back. It's not there, whether it's alive or dead. Now what? Right. One day I'll get that jump. Okay, there we go. And you can go and not even see that room where we're about to go with the statue with all the little bosses on it. Right. And then you'd be, if you got to that point, and this was 1991, what the hell would you do then? There's no game facts. God, I can't even imagine. Like, the first Zelda, have you ever played that? How, uh, would yeah. you, how would you ever know half the stuff you're supposed to do in that game? Yeah, I played that when I was like 15. So, yeah. You know, relatively old. I finally got around to it. It was tough. You have to burn some like random bush that you'd have no reason to think about burning. Like, it's crazy. Yep. But don't fight these again. Yeah. I implore you, implore you, past Sean. <laughs> Please just go. Yeah, so I don't know what people did. I mean, it's, I've heard interviews where uh, Shigeru was like, uh, you know, the idea was for people to get stuck and then to, like, meet each other the next day and talk about, like, different things that worked. It was this really collaborative thing, which actually sounds kind of cool. It's weird, too, that this is the same company that now, like, holds your hand through everything. Yeah. Like, Mario Galaxy 2 is a good example of that. We're playing through that. It's got Rosalina who shows up every time you die more than, like, three times on a level. Yeah. You want to see a video, or you want me to get the star for you? Yeah, it's crazy to me. At least they give you some kind of punishment for it, don't they? Isn't that like an asterisk star? It's uh, like a bronze star instead of a gold star or something right, like that. Right, right. Okay. And you can't unlock the green stars with those, I think. Something like that. Well, at least there's that, because my goodness... I hate these things. They're on steroids. There are so many steroids. It's just weird that Nintendo once was the hardcore, really difficult crowd with some of the same game designers back before social media. They wanted you to try to talk, like, talk to your friends. or Right. And now that it's widespread, now the games are so easy that who would need help? Yeah, you got to wonder how much of that is just marketing. Like, we got to make it accessible for everybody. Yeah. I mean, we even saw that when we did the new uh, Wii U Mario Brothers, the new Super Mario Brothers for that. There was that thing where you could turn on the internet and post like, oh, I got stuck in this part. You could put a little message with your me. Right. Like, I mean, it's neat, but I don't care. Yeah, just go look up Game Fact. Don't waste your time <laughs> on this thing. So this is the internet, like, and not even Game Facts. You can find so much stuff. Oh, running out of time for the video. Yep, save points right there. So. Was so, really defeated. Your ex has now been slaughtered, and now that leaves only one thing, and that's yes. Mother Brain. So we have two episodes left. Yes. We're on the, the final three episodes. Uh, unfortunately, we lost all the audio. So we will be play-by-playing it from here on out. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> they can't hear what you're hearing. It's okay. Bye, America. Bye.